I submit to you tonight, brothers and sisters, I am a Muslim. Number one, that's my first identity. Number two, I am an African American. My skin is black. That's my second identity. I love my black skin. I don't apologize for it. I love it, everything about it, because Allah made me that way. It's Allah who created you in the wombs of your mother as he pleased. And if Allah made me a black man, it's pleased to be, for me to be black, I'm pleased to be black. Allah made me that way. Allah made me to be a man, and I love being a man. I don't want to be a woman. Degenerous. And every woman should be proud of what Allah made her to be a beautiful woman. I don't want my wife to be like me. I love her exactly the way she is. She's a woman. If your skin is white, be proud of that white skin that Allah gave you. Your hair is red, your hair is nappy, your hair is woolly, your hair is black, it's blonde. Doesn't matter. These are insignificant things. The real thing is, the real knowledge is that we submit our will to do the will of Allah the Almighty. So number one, I'm a Muslim. Why? Because on the day of judgment, my black skin can't do nothing for me. Your white skin can't do nothing for you. Your Arabic tongue can do nothing for you. Coming from America or coming from uh, wherever you come from will do nothing for you on the day of judgment. The thing that will help you is your relationship with Allah, the Almighty, your Iman, your faith, your taqwa. So don't worry about your skin color. Don't worry about what country you come from, language you speak. That's irrelevant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah doesn't look at these superficial things. He looks at your heart and your deeds. So I'm one, a Muslim, number two, I'm black, and number three, I am American. Brothers and sisters, the same way some of you brothers come from Egypt and sisters come from Egypt or Syria or Jordan or Palestine or Sudan. Every one of you came from a country. I come from a country too. My country happens to be America. I'm born in America. Allah made me to. I, I, could, I, I had no choice. I just woke up one day and I was in Brooklyn. <laughs> I, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't choose my parents. Allah chose them for me. Yes. And wherever Allah uh, raised you up and gave you life in whatever country he gave you life, that's the country you're born in. So this is my country. And I don't want to see America fail. I want to see America get better. But I must admit that America's sick. America to me is the height of jahiliyyah, the height of ignorance. I painted a picture a long time ago. Some of these young brothers will tell you the picture I painted of America. In my opinion, America is like a car speeding down a steep mountain full of ice and snow with brakes that don't work, driven by a blind man, high off of drugs, That's America. America, like a car speeding down a steep mountain full of ice and snow with brakes that don't work, driven by a blind man, how for drugs? And the problem is, in the back seat is Ahmed. <laughs> whose feet are on the brakes and whose hands control the throttle? Why do I say America is the height of ignorance? Imam Siraj, but all of the technology of America, all of that, yes, tops. But real knowledge, she lacks. And what is that knowledge? Number one, brothers and sisters, the greatest knowledge that you can ever get is the knowledge of Allah. Trust me. The greatest knowledge you can ever get the greatest knowledge is the knowledge of your creator, Allah. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وكيف تخفون بالله وكنتم أموات فأحيكم ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم إليه ترجعون كيف تخفون بالله وكنتم أموات فأحيكم ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم إليه ترجعون how can you deny Allah when you were dead and he brought you to life and then he will take you again. He will kill you and then bring you to life again. And then you have to return to him. How dare you? How dare you deny Allah? And let me tell you the lesson that I learned. For Allah, the real issue is not how you begin, but how you end. إنما الأحمل بالخواتيم كما قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما الأحمل بالخواتيم 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 your deeds shall be judged by your last deeds by your what last deeds by your what last deeds you know why so you can't take Allah for granted some people want to rest on their laurels oh yeah I worked hard I can retire now I can sit down, but guess what? Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, never retired. He died on the post. Abu Bakr never retired. He died on the post. Umar never retired. He died on the post. Uthman never retired. He died on the post. Ali never retired. He died on the post. What about you? You're going to now retire from Islam? Well, uh, I've been working 50 years. I can retire now. Shut up. Brothers and sisters, really, the best knowledge you can get is the knowledge of Allah. And I want to leave you with one of his names. Yes, knowledge is sacred. What kind of knowledge? And you make sure that you don't be ignorant to the real knowledge and then get the superficial knowledge that can't help you on the day of judgment. Because even if you're a mathematician, by being a mathematician will not get you into Jannah, not get you into paradise. Don't get me wrong, don't say Imam Sadaj is teaching against secular knowledge. No, I'm not. Imam Sadaj is teaching us priority. Make sure you get the right knowledge first. And the most important and significant knowledge is the knowledge of Allah. Once you have that, then you can put everything else in perspective. Uh, uh, one of the brothers from New York, uh, alhamdulillah, made Hajj. Sheikh Rafiq, he's the, he's the principal of the school, the Muslim school under which my children go to. And by the way, brothers and sisters, in case you didn't know it, there are 17 full-time Muslim schools in New York City. But don't get excited. Because those 17 full-time Muslim schools only accommodate less than 1% of the Muslim youth. So even though 17 appears to be a lot, it's really insignificant according to what we need. But this school, Islamic Elementary School, Sheikh Rafiq is the, he's a, he's the principal. He went to make Hajj. He was at JFK Airport the day on the way to go to Jeddah. And he had in his briefcase $15,000 in cash. And he put the briefcase standing up on the line, ticket counter. He put the briefcase between his legs. He says, Imam, I turned one second. And I looked, it was gone. $15,000 cash stolen. The person who stole it is a person that's jahil, ignorant, because they don't know Allah. 14 million Americans arrested a year because the country is full of jahiliyyah. 21,000 people murdered in America because the country is steeped in ignorance. 30,000 Americans took their own lives, committed suicide because they're steeped in ignorance. American women parade themselves naked on magazines, on the internet. Raunchy telephone calls for money because we steeped in ignorance. 
prostitutes walking up and down the street. Army with sex perversion. Corrupted officials. President. Congress. More money spent in America on illegal drugs than on food and clothing and education. Why? Because America's in ignorance. Not technology. She has that. Now why now are Muslims going after the same kind of knowledge that they're going after and forgetting our knowledge that make 3,500 Muslims open up a liquor store in Chicago? Because I submit to you, we're going after the wrong knowledge. And the knowledge that we should go after, A, the knowledge of Allah, and two, the knowledge of the hereafter.